Hi everyone, welcome to Rachel Pickler Yoga. If we haven't met before, my name is Rachel. Today we're doing a nice full body flow for strength and flexibility. So I am gonna use my block for just a little bit uh, today, mostly just to help with balance. So if you do have something close to you, maybe a coffee table or even a wall might do the trick. Um, feel free to move or grab something to use for that. You're gonna need just a little bit of space to move and let's get started. So let's start today in just a cross-legged seated position if that works. Um, you can move your block if you do have something to use just off to the side. Placing your hands on your knees, maybe even closing your eyes. Take a big inhale as you lengthen through your spine. Exhale, soften your shoulders. Another big breath in. And out. One more nice deep inhale. And exhale. Awesome, you guys. You can continue to stay sitting in a nice long spine, nice comfy seat, or you can add a tip forwards if it is available to you in this cross-legged seated position. And maybe you can kind of come into a tiny ball. Soften your shoulders. Continue to just slow down and feel the breath. Awesome, you guys. And if you did fold forwards, use an inhale to bring yourself back up into a nice long spine. We're just going to cross our legs the other way. Maybe it's a little awkward. Maybe it's not. Hands back to your knees, though. And inhale to lengthen through your spine again. Close your eyes if you did open them. Breathe. Stay sitting tall. Or maybe take that tip forwards again. See if it feels a little bit different on the hips or the legs, softening through the shoulders, kind of settling in, awesome you guys, taking an inhale as you slowly start to lift your upper body back up into your nice long spine, you can actually open your eyes up now if you'd like. We're going to uncross our legs. Just plant your feet. Give your knees a little bit of a hug or a rock side to side. We're going to make our way over into tabletop onto our hands and knees. So you can bring your fingers out nice and wide. Your wrists underneath your shoulders. Tuck your toes under. We're going to hover our knees. So tuck your toes. We're going to hover our knees just like half an inch. So push into the ball of the feet. Hover, hover, hover. Feel your legs, your entire body fire up, warm up. Take one more inhale and then exhale. Gently place your knees back down. Awesome, you guys. Untuck your toes. Rest on the top of your feet. Hover your knees again just a little bit. Fire up the core. Get nice and warm right from the start here. One more inhale and an exhale to release. Ah, relax your knees. Tuck your toes back under. Take a big inhale. With the exhale, lift your knees all the way up into downward facing dog. Taking a moment here to maybe pedal your feet a few times. You can bend one knee and then straighten the other. You could be nice and still. Maybe pushing into the palms a little more. Feel the nice length through your arms and the openness through your shoulders as you let your head get heavy. Awesome, you guys. Take one more full breath here. Inhale. Exhale. Use an inhale to gaze forwards. Exhale, walk or step to the top of your mat. With an inhale, lift halfway up. Exhale, folding forwards. Inhale, come all the way up to standing, reaching up, maybe looking up. And exhale as you lower your hands in front of your heart and down to your sides. We're going to cross our right foot in front of the left option, or you can have your feet side by side and as wide as you would like them to be. We're gonna fold forwards from here. So in option two, cross the legs. You might want a block or something in front of you so that you can hold on to it. But let's find a nice long spine. Maybe your hands are gonna find your hips. And then using an exhale, start to tip forwards. If your legs are crossing, you can give your inner legs a little bit of a squeeze, help you balance. Resting your hands maybe on something or the floor. Maybe shift your gaze towards your knees for a moment. Nice long neck. 
and spine. Awesome, you guys. Take an inhale. Lift your upper body back up. It's nice and slow. Uncross your legs if you cross them and then just cross them the other way. <clears throat> or keep your feet side by side, of course. Take an inhale, lengthen, and an exhale to tip forwards, maybe squeezing those legs together a little bit. Awesome job, you guys. Fold forwards, maybe tuck your chin a little bit towards the collarbone. Beautiful, you guys. Taking an inhale, slowly lifting the upper body all the way back up. You can uncross your legs. You can give them a little shake even. Find the top of your mat if you wandered off. Roll your shoulders back and down and a big inhale as you reach your arms up. Exhale, fold forwards. Inhale, find your half lift. Exhale, fold, plant your hands. Step your feet back into downward facing dog. Awesome, you guys, not here for too long. So push into those palms, let your chest get heavy, and then use an inhale and shift your weight forwards into a plank. Just bringing the shoulders over top of the wrists. Feel free to drop to your knees or stay lifted here for a nice big inhale. And then use the exhale to push back into downward facing dog. Awesome, you guys, with an inhale, gaze forwards. Exhale, walk or step to the top of your mat. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, all the way up, reach up, stand tall. Exhale, lower your hands in front of your heart and down to your sides. Awesome, you guys, we're gonna balance again. This time on one foot. So maybe having something close to you, maybe that's a wall to help you just in case. But let's stand on our left foot and cross the right foot over top of our quad. So if you can't do that, that's completely fine. You can do tree pose instead, bringing your foot to the inner leg, anywhere but the knee, the calf, the inner thigh, anywhere but the knee. But if you're following along with me and you're able, you can rest your foot on top of that left quad. You can flex that foot and you can start to bend your standing leg. So I want you to try and find a nice glute stretch here, all the while working on your balance. So maybe you don't have to hang on to anything. The more you drop your chest down, the more you're gonna feel the glute stretch. So that's why you might have a lovely block or coffee table close by so that you can hold onto it and work on that glute stretch, challenging yourself from time to time by, being, by maybe letting go Nice, you guys. Another option, maybe. Maybe your hands can find the floor. And maybe you can straighten your standing leg and continue to bring your chest towards your foot, towards your knee. Awesome, you guys. If you did lengthen the leg, bend it again. Slowly come out the way you came, lifting up through the chest and then gently uncrossing your legs, planting your feet and shaking it out. We're gonna switch sides while we're here. Let's just switch. So maybe you're taking tree pose today. You're gonna place your foot on the inside of your leg. You're gonna stay standing tall. Maybe you're gonna go for that glute stretch, flex that foot, bend that standing leg and just try to see what happens. <laughs> having some fun along the way. Nice job, you guys. So you can play with it. If it's a nice big bend through that standing leg and a low chest, maybe that gives you the best glute stretch. Keep that foot flexed. Maybe finding some length and folding forwards a little more gives you a better, a better challenge, a better feeling. <sighs> maybe you like both, all of the options. But slowly starting to make your way back up. Lifting up the chest, uncrossing the legs, planting the feet and shaking it out a little bit. If you've got a block of some kind, move it off to the side and out of the way. Find the top of your mat, roll your shoulders back and down. Big inhales, you reach up. Exhale, fold forward. <sighs> Inhale, half lift. Exhale to fold, plant your hands. You can step back into downward facing dog. Maybe you want to stay here, or maybe you want to inhale into a nice plank. Shift your weight forwards, option always to drop to your knees, do a half plank. Nice and strong. Ah, nice deep breath. Awesome, you guys. One more inhale, and send it back into down dog with your exhale. Breathe, nice big inhale again. 
And then exhale, lowering your knees all the way down to your mat. Let's cross our ankles and have a seat. Awesome job, you guys. So we're gonna keep our right leg out long. We'll be placing the left foot back on top of the quad, or if that's not available, just on the inner thigh. You can take a forward fold. If you're able to bring your foot on top of your quad, we're actually gonna lean back instead and bend the bottom leg. <clears throat> and from here, you can stay leaning back, lift up through your chest, flexing that left foot, that top foot, or maybe you wanna actually lean forwards a little bit and kind of hug your legs a little bit more. Whatever the knee likes, whatever the glute likes, do that. Awesome, you guys. If you do have, you are hugging or you're leaning back, we're gonna let it go. So send your legs out long, uncross them, give them a nice little shake and switch sides. So maybe you're taking just a forward fold here. Your foot is staying on your inner thigh. Maybe you're crossing your foot on top, leaning back, flexing the top foot again, finding the glute. Nice job, you guys. Awesome job, you guys. Nice and slow. Let's start to let it go. Send your legs out long again. Give them a bit of a shake. And then let's cross our ankles and come back over onto our hands and knees. <clears throat> so from here, I actually want you to bring your right knee over top of your left, kind of squeezing the inner legs together, trying to get your knees in line with one another. You can let your feet come out wide towards the edges of your mat. And then we're going to try and sit down. So if you do have a block, you might actually sit on top of it. Or you might just see what happens as you start to send the hips all the way back and you end up in cow face. And you can always adjust your legs once you do get down. Maybe you can find a long spine here, taking an inhale to lengthen, stay sitting tall perhaps, add a tip forwards if you'd like. Some nice glute and outer hip stretches today. Awesome, you guys. Take an inhale to lift up if you are folding forwards. Can we come back over into our tabletop with our legs crossed? Maybe. Maybe not. <laughs> Try it out. Uncross your legs eventually, though, and then bring the left leg behind, crossing your legs the other way, kind of squeezing the legs together, Just trying to line up the knees, and then starting to send the hips back. Maybe you have something to sit on. Maybe you don't want to sit on anything. But taking an inhale to lengthen through your spine after you make some adjustments to your legs, trying to stack those knees. Feel free to add a forward fold. Awesome job, you guys, taking an inhale to lift up if you're folding. Can we come back over one more time into our tabletop? Find your way there in any way. Rock your hips side to side. Shake it out a little bit. Awesome job, you guys. Plant your hands right underneath your shoulders. Spread the fingers wide. Start to tuck your toes under. You can stay in tabletop or you can send one leg back and then maybe the other and find a plank. Maybe you bring your knees down for your half plank, but wake up the tummy, push into your palms nice and strong. Beautiful, you guys. One more inhale. Use the exhale to push back into downward facing dog. Nice job, you guys. One more big breath in. And using the exhale to bring your knees back down to your mat. Un or cross your ankles and have a seat. 
<clears throat> so making your way back into a comfy seat, cross-legged perhaps, or half lotus. You can bring one foot on top of your thigh, half lotus. If you'd like to find full lotus, you can bring your other foot on top of your thigh as well. Cross-legged, half lotus, full lotus. Up to you. Take an inhale to lengthen though. Stay here or tip forwards. See how those hips feel. Those legs, those ankles. Add as much a forward fold as you would like. And if you fold it forwards, using an inhale to slowly lift back up, we're going to change the way our legs are crossed. <clears throat> so maybe just crossing your legs the other way. Maybe you're half lotus. Maybe you're full lotus. <clears throat> Taking an inhale to lengthen again. And perhaps an exhale to tip forwards. Awesome job, you guys. Use an inhale and slowly start to lift your upper body back up. You can uncross your legs. Give yourself a hug, a little rock side to side. We'll be bringing the soles of our feet together, our knees out wide. So place your hands on your knees. Find a long spine and see if you need to send your feet out further away so that you can have a nice long spine. An inhale to lengthen though and an exhale to twist, turning your chest to the right side. Using an inhale, you can turn your chest back to face the front and an exhale twist, turn your chest to the left. And with an inhale, bring it back, facing forwards, hands to your knees, and inhale to lengthen. Maybe an exhale to tip forwards. If you're folding and inhale when you're ready, it's going to bring you back up. Hands to your knees, helping them come back together. You can rock it out, hug it out. Finding one last nice comfy seat. Awesome practice, you guys. Thank you so much for joining me today. You can bring your hands together in front of your heart. One more inhale. And let it go. I hope that you enjoy the rest of your day. Again, thank you so much for joining me. Until next time, namaste.